Hi, what are signs Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising? And those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. So today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person's next move towards you. This is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what is your person's next move towards you Interesting. Seven of Swords here does signify to us that they have been thinking about you a lot. Not the Seven of Swords here, sorry, the Suit of Swords here, which is governed by mental energy here, is hinting that this person has been thinking about you a lot. So if there hasn't been any communication here, <clears throat> their next move towards you just um, will involve communication here. So this is someone who I feel like plans to communicate here. This is interesting and there is a strong sense of uh, a duality and inconsistent energy, indecisiveness as well. Temperance tells us th that this person here is someone who has been considering and thinking about making their move, but they want to do it at the right time. Okay, so this is someone who has give, who's give, given this a lot of thought here. Okay, so if they haven't reached out to you just yet, it's because they may not know exactly what to say. They may have been thinking about uh, putting together the right text message. Because I feel like this is someone who has been thinking about the words that they should be used, that they will use to communicate with you. What is it that they may say here? It feels like this is someone who's writing and deleting messages to you because it feels like they can't exactly get the right words out and they. They don't feel exactly as though the words here are clearly expressing what it is that they're feeling or what it is that they um, want to communicate here. So temperance feels like they are trying to be really patient. They're scared of saying the wrong thing. They're scared of miscommunication here. They're scared of also... I feel like they are scared of communication because the Two of Swords tells me that there may be someone here in this connection who has blocked one or the other. So maybe this person has blocked your number here or blocked your energies here or maybe you've blocked their number or a social media platform of theirs or your energies, the both of your energies feel quite blocked and stagnated and so this person feels like they want to come back and they want to reach out and they want to communicate with you but I don't know why it just feels a little bit awkward and I feel like maybe things ended really suddenly very abruptly this could be someone who has ghosted you in the past this is it could be someone who has just you know pulled themselves away and just walked away from the connection here without necessarily explaining themselves or without necessarily um having given up much thought something he happened very quickly and i feel like they've spent a lot of time really focusing on their mistakes and their regrets here and i feel like this is someone who wants to come back and it wants to communicate with you and the next move towards you will definitely start with communication but I can see that this is someone who is thinking about you now and wants to communicate with you right now in this time and this space but they're holding off okay I feel like they're um, holding themselves back here from communicating from reaching out to you and I feel like this is someone who's writing and deleting their messages to you now the king of swords represents clear truth um, clarity here, intellect here, clear thinking, right? So I feel like this person is coming back with a lot of clarity in their energy. So clearly the time that you guys have spent apart from one another has allowed this person the mental space to think about their decisions and think about their actions and behaviors towards you here. So they have been doing a lot of thinking. Now, for some of you, this situation was or may still be a third party situation in which maybe this is someone who blocked you or who stopped uh, communicating or pursuing with you purely because there was, um, well, there was um, a little bit, 
there's, there's uh, a lovish triangle and it feels a little bit crowded. Three feels like the magic number here. So this is someone who I feel like may not have chose you, but in the end they regret their decision not to. Okay, so here they are. And that decision that they made to pull away, to stop communicating with you, to, you know, put um, a pause or a hold on things, that was made very abruptly. That was, they weren't in a clear mind when they made that decision to do so. They weren't thinking clearly. They had a lot going on here. They felt pressures, the pressure coming from you. They felt the pressure coming from their romantic um, energy, you know, the third party. And they've just made a decision to suddenly cut ties with you. But then they regret their decision because in the moment they weren't thinking clearly. But now that they've had all this time and all this mental space to think, this is someone who I feel like has given this a lot of thought. And your person is coming back with a lot of, uh, a lot of clarity. Okay, And they're prepared to speak their truth. So be prepared to have a conversation in which... Someone is going to be held accountable, so they may be holding themselves accountable. Um, expect apologies. Expect, sorry, expect the truth here. Expect just an honest, truthful. It might even seem a little bit uncomfortable or painful, but that's because I feel like this is raw. They're not holding anything back. So their next move towards you is one in which I feel like it's definitely fueled by a lot of clarity, a lot of mental clarity. This is someone who, trust me when I say, has been given this um, a lot of thought, okay? And I feel like with the Eight of Wands energy, this is someone who is ready to make a move towards you, okay? So they're ready to make a move that I feel like is going to dictate the direction of your connection. So they may be ready to cut ties with a third party situation. So drop the third party for you here. They may be willing to progress things with you. Um, they may be willing to move things along. Have that conversation that the two of you have been avoiding having. The, uh, I feel like this is someone who's ready to take action, ready to take bold, massive action. And notice the clear sky in the background. That also is symbolic of clarity. Okay, So there's nothing stopping them this time around. I feel like they've got a lot more clearer uh, intentions and I feel like they're a lot more directive and a lot more certain here with what it is that they want and this is why I feel like they're coming back into the picture here because I feel like you know as we spoke about earlier this is someone who has been thinking about the situation and the connection a lot okay and they've been thinking and overthinking things and now I'm seeing that there's a lot of strength a lot of clarity um They've made a decision. Their next move towards you is going to be... I feel like some of you felt as though they... In the past with your connection, or just it may have been recently, so not so much in the past, but there was some sort of decision that they had to make. And I feel like their next move towards you will see that they finally make that decision. So for instance, if that decision was choosing you or another third part, like another person, then I feel like this person will drop the third party and will choose you in the end. Or if that decision was, you know, choosing, um, if you've given them an ultimatum of some sort, or if they had to make up their mind about whether or not they want to give this connection a title, a label, there was some sort of decision that I feel like you were pressing for them to make because they kept sitting on the fence about it. They kept being very up and down and very inconsistent. Or there may have even been a very fluctuating presence in your life coming in and out and you know you wanted them to decide whether they're committing to this thing or not so whatever it is that you wanted for them to decide on I feel like the next move towards you will definitely be one in which you will see them finally making and more importantly committing to a decision here okay so to me it just feels like there's definitely a choice that they made and that choice is or was between you and someone else and I feel like this person ends up choosing you in the end so that's interesting the next move towards you is definitely going to pave way for the future they've got a lot to say to you they've got a lot to get off their chest a lot of communication expect a lot of communication from this person here to the point where I feel like they will be bombarding you with text messages with phone calls 
um, and expect a lot of clarity. There is going to be some, um, this communication that I see being exchanged between the two of you is going to elicit a very strong emotional response in both of you. So just warning you, tears may be shared, but just because it feels like there's such a richness of emotion that stems from these conversations because there's such an honesty and such a transparency to what it is that they're saying. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.